On today's video, we're going to be replacing the standard wooden marquee that came with Arcade 1-Up's Big Buck Hunter and Big Buck World Arcade Cabinets with this beautiful light-up marquee from Retro 530. Hey guys, Michael B. The Game Genie here. Thank you so very much for checking out this video. And that's right, hold on to your butts because this is actually an Arcade 1-Up mod video. And I'm going to tell you more about it right after this. So that's right guys, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is in fact a mod video for an RK 1UP product from Michael B. The Game Genie. So in today's video, I'm going to be replacing the standard pack-in wooden marquee that came with my Big Buck World Cabinet with the very impressive, absolutely stunning light-up marquee offered by Retro 530. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you so much for checking out the video. Guys, I always appreciate your support, and if this is your first time to the channel, you like what you see, go ahead, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, all that YouTube stuff. Now guys, I know I'm extremely late to the party covering Big Buck Hunter and Big Buck World as this cabinet has been out for over two years now. However, I was hesitant to buy this cabinet originally because of the fact that it came without a light up marquee. I found this to be an incredibly perplexing decision, but I assume this was done because there was some kind of issue with having a light up marquee above the screen and with the Sindon light gun technology. It just seemed like this was a relic of the past to release a new RK1 up cabinet without a light up marquee in wave three and four or wherever this came out after so many other cabinets had come out with light up marquees. Now there's also an issue with the complexity of this marquee as it isn't your standard rectangular light up marquee as it does have the antlers on the side and only the middle section is light up. So maybe it wasn't due to the difficulty of implementing a light source above the screen with the Sindon light gun technology so much as the complexity of making this new form marquee that would be a good representation of the original marquee with the light source uh, uh, you know, cemented directly in the middle. So of course, I wasn't going to buy this cabinet, not because I thought the game wasn't great or wasn't interesting, it just didn't come with a light up marquee. So I knew at some point I would have to get some kind of replacement to go in there. And with its extremely high asking price here in Canada at $799, I couldn't justify spending any amount above that to add a light up marquee. But luckily, just around Christmas time, a retailer here in Canada by the name of London Drugs were actually clearancing out all of their arcade one up product and they put the big buck hunter cab on clearance at 399 and at that price point i could justify picking up the cabinet and then going out and spending the money to get a light up marquee and of course the best option on the market i think it's really the only option to get the proper marquee is retro 530. Now, when it comes to Retro 530, I'm not a big modder, but I have heard from so many other people in the community the quality of their products, and specifically their big buck hunter marquee, is incredible. However, it does come with hefty price tags, so keep that in mind when you are making this upgrade. I think it's a very essential and necessary upgrade. No arcade one-up cabinet at this point should come out without a light-up marquee, and this one is incredible. The detail is fantastic. However, it does have a slight hefty price point. So guys, here I have in box my brand new Big Buck Hunter World light up marquee from Retro 530. So let's take it out of the box and see what's included. So there we have the Big Buck Hunter World marquee. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Not only do we have the 3D antlers that come out on the side, we've got the front middle panel that's going to light up and then on the actual back piece the wood that's going to connect to the cabinet they had this really cool like kind of hunter camo like style over it this thing is well built it's got some weight to it what a great piece 
Now also, what I didn't expect is that Retro 530 was going to throw some kind of surprise into the package. I had no idea what this was going to be. So as I'm opening up the package, I find another light up panel at the bottom of the box underneath the marquee. And when I pull that out and realize what it is, I am absolutely flabbergasted because he went out of his way to craft a beautiful light up wall marquee of my channel logo, Michael B. The Game Genie. This thing is absolutely incredible. When I plugged the lights in, you could immediately tell the quality of the light up wall panel. There was even light distribution throughout. The colors remained perfect on it. I'm so excited to add this as a display and decoration piece to my office arcade upstairs so it can be seen in the background of all my videos. So when it comes to the mod, guys, this one is relatively easy. Believe me, if I can do it, literally anybody can do it. So the first step is we're going to have to get the old wooden marquee out. Now, there's two ways to do this. Of course, you can just loosen some of the screws on the side and kind of wedge it out. But I'm going to do the tried and tested true method, the safe method of taking apart the entire cabinet to get that marquee out. Once the wooden marquee has been removed, what you will need to do is separate the little tiny bracket panel that's on the bottom of the marquee that basically connects to the sides of the cabinet and goes just above the screen from the back of your wooden marquee and you are going to screw it into your new light up marquee from Retro 530 and this thing is absolutely beautiful. So like I mentioned earlier, there's two ways to go about doing this. You can either loosen the screws and uh, wedge your marquee out or take the cabinet apart. So when we're actually going to be installing the brand new Big Buck Hunter World marquee, I am actually going to go with the other methods. I put my cabinet all the way back together and just left the marquee off the top. So I loosen the screws on the side to the point where I can wedge the panel that we talked about earlier. We removed from the other marquee the two dowels into the side dowel holes. And now you're going to find in your included bag two drywall screws that we're going to screw into the side of the marquee once we have it in place. And that will put the marquee uh, firmly in the position it needs to be in. You will also notice that included in the bag comes an additional cord that we're going to plug in to the cord coming out of the light source. This will allow us to plug it directly into the uh, control board on the back of the screen like you would do with any other arcade one-up cabinet, creating basically a light source that comes on directly when you turn on the cabinet. So guys, now that everything is installed, it's the moment of truth. We press the power button and voila, the light comes on and this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I talked a little earlier about the detail this adds to the cabinet. It's the perfect size, the perfect fit. The cabinet now looks finished. Now, do I think RK 1UP ever would have went to this level of detail doing the 3D antlers that extend past the cabinet, the great, you know, hunting background image that they have on the backboard that connects to the cabinet? No, but they at least could have tried to replicate at least the light up portion and then the rest of the marquee around it. This, in my opinion, is a mod that goes above and beyond because you're not just replicating a marquee. This is an improvement in quality tenfold over what Arcade 1UP would ever do. You look at the quality of this product, the weight, the way that it fits in, everything is thought of so well and it's absolutely beautiful. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we just saw it. Once you turn on the cabinet, where it does plug directly into the PCB on the back of the cabinet, you are good to go. It immediately comes on once the game starts up. So that's the first real plus with it. Anybody that's done replacement marquees with any of the Wave 3 cabinets, such as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know once you turn on your cabinet, that marquee will light up in unison and you don't need an external switch. On top of that, the other big concern and I guess justification we were giving or excuse we were giving to RK 1UP for why they did not include a light up marquee with this cabinet is there was some concern that a light source above the screen would impact the Sinden technology 
uh, affecting the way that your shots would register on the cabinet. I am so happy to report that is not the case. I have seen no change in my skill level since I've installed the light up marquee. I am still just as bad <laughs> as I was before, but I'm not having any uh, new difficulty landing my shots. I'm just as bad as I was before. <laughs> I don't think I really have to say a lot more about this Light Up Marquee mod. Anybody knows that the Light Up Marquee was one of the biggest improvements Arcade One Up ever made to their stock cabinets. It's the one thing that made it feel more like a real arcade compared to their Wave 1 and 2 offerings. It was the biggest jump forward in their product, in my opinion, and it was such a shame it wasn't included with this cabinet. Having a light-up marquee now gets us to that level, but thankfully Retro 530 did such an amazing job, it makes this cabinet above and beyond almost any other arcade one-up cabinet, and with this mod, this may be one of, if not, the nicest arcade one-up cabinets released to date. So guys, that's my look at the Retro 530 Light Up Marquee Mod for the arcade one-up Big Buck Hunter Pro and Big Buck Hunter World cabinets. I am so happy I put in the extra money and got this marquee for this cabinet because it is absolutely stunning. Guys, this is an absolute must need, must do mod if you have a Big Buck Hunter Pro or Big Buck Hunter World. I cannot recommend it enough. It brings the cabinet not just to the next level, but the next level above that. See that Pekong? Next level, and my mod shows the next level above that. <laughs> Anyways guys, let me know in the comments what do you think of the Retro 530 Big Buck Hunter Marquee Light Up Marquee Mod. What do you think of the product? What do you think of the improvement that it makes to the cabinet? Do you think that at the price point, it's a worthwhile modification? And if you already have one, let me know in the comments. What are your experiences working with Retro 530? And what do you think of the product yourself? Anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching this video. This is Michael B. The Game Genie. I'll talk to you guys next time.